Hello everyone and welcome to this complete beginner whittling lesson or in this case painting lesson and in this video we are going to talk about how to paint simple eyes. Eyes are often the most intimidating uh, scariest thing for beginning whittler or woodcarver to try to paint and I'm just going to show you three methods to do it very simply and easily and uh, nothing too fancy that should hopefully give you some confidence. And so our learning goal for today is really just that you will be able to paint three types of simple eyes onto your carvings. Uh, and a couple quick notes before we get started. Um, for materials or supplies in this video, you are going to want um, a pencil. I would recommend uh, toothpicks. I'm going to use these embossing tools, uh, which are these little tools with round tips you can get at a hobby store. But if you don't have embossing tools, that's fine. What you're going to want is, I have these brushes here, the back of those brushes. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about why you need those. But I'm actually not even going to use, although you could, I'm not going to use the brush as a brush in this video at all, really. And then the paints that we're going to use are just black and white. I'm going to use a, a color called Jet Black and I'm going to use a color called uh, Vintage White. And when we're painting eyes, we're not going to water the paint down at all uh, like we did in the previous video for painting the bodies and things like that. So before we start to actually paint, I want to talk a little bit about how do you um, decide where to put your eyes. And so placing the eyes is actually um, as important as painting them uh, because it's easy to just try to paint them and then end up having them in two different spots or an area where you don't want. And so I'm going to show you a couple things. One is that I will always mark where I want my eyes to go with a pencil first. And so let me just try this. I'm going to put a little dot here and a little dot here. And this is what will happen inevitably is, oh, I did that, and they're kind of not where, they're not even, right? The reason I can see that is because I'm I'm looking at that there, and I, I'm i not happy with how level they are. I'm looking at it through my camera, which is a good tip, actually. What I will do a lot of times when I'm thinking about placing my eyes is before I even draw them on with a pencil, I'll take a picture like this, blank, and then I will use my camera's picture editing tools to just get the little pen tool and draw little dots where I want them. That'll help me identify, do I want my eyes down here? Do I want them up here? Do I want them wider? And it'll give me a sense of where I want them before I even start to draw them on. So let me redraw those on here, and I'm not going to actually be too picky about it. But I do want to make sure that they're level, and I'm going to get them on there. And that goes regardless of which, um, which eyes I'm doing. We're going to do um, a few different types of eyes here. And regardless, I'm going to draw them on, um, especially with these little um, arc-shaped happy eyes, I call them. Uh, you might want to practice that a little bit. You might want to draw them on um, a picture of it before you actually do it on there. You want to think about how close do I want them. Do I want them up near the top of the beak, the sides of the beak? Anyway, mark it with a pencil first before you start to paint. I'm going to pause for a second and get my um, paint set up, and then we'll, we'll talk about how to paint. Okay, so our first method for painting eyes is going to be what I call happy eyes. Just little arcs like this, and uh, pretty simple. Just little upside-down arcs that look like happy, smiling eyes. We're going to do it on the on the hatching chick as an example, but you've seen this on the fish and, and other things as well. Very straightforward, simple, simple eyes. So let's use this one, uh, this chick that I painted in the last video. And I've already drawn the eyes on with pencil where I want it. And the way that I'm going to draw these on... I don't recommend using a brush for this. You could use a very fine brush, and if you want to practice that and use that method, that's fine. Um, I recommend using a toothpick for this. And if I get just a little bit of paint on the tip of my toothpick, I can pretty much use that like a pen. 
Now, the thing to note about this is that when I'm painting eyes um, and other really fine details, a lot of times I'm using completely undiluted paint. Um, in the last video, I talked about how, you know, we like to water down the paint quite a bit. Uh, but for painting details like this, not watered down, 100% uh, paint is going to work the best. I want that to be bold and show up. So I've already drawn on with pencil where I want those eyes to go. I'm going to dip the tip of my toothpick in there. And again, I'm doing really fine detail work. So I'm going to anchor my hands firmly on the table. I'm going to anchor them together. <laughs> And so I'm very intentional about where this is going. My hands aren't shaking. And I'm going to start at the inside and really just like a pen, draw a little line. And that's about it. Okay. Now that made a little bit of a glob up there that I'm not super happy about. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Well, let's go ahead and do the other one. So just a little dot. And I'm going to start on the inside and go to the outside. Now, the reason I start on the inside and go to the outside is my paint's going to run out a little bit as I go. That's going to make the inside a little bit thicker and the outside a little bit um, thinner. But that's it. Very simple. Now, I got a little glob there I'm not super happy about. So what I'm going to do is come in here with just the tip of my knife. And see if I can just scrape that off and clean up that edge a little bit. And if I can't, it's not a huge deal. I can always, it actually looks pretty good now. I'm happy with that. Uh, but if I can't get it like that, uh, I could always shave the entire eye off with my knife and repaint it. And I've done that more than once. And you will probably do that some too. And that's, that's no problem. So that's it for the first method, the um, the simple happy eyes. And there's a slight variation here where you do these little upturn uh, corners, uh, kind of like little eyelashes, and that's just with the with the toothpick, the same thing. So there's method one. Okay, time for method two. Method two is going to be what I'm calling the dotted eyes, and that's going to be what we see on this guy here and as you can see it's going to be two larger black dots with small white dots in the inside of them okay so let's take a look at how we do that and what we're going to want to do is have a tool that's going to give me a consistent dot now as i mentioned already i'm going to use an embossing tool for this you can get these at any hobby shop um, and it's just a round a round tip and it gives me a nice um, a perfect circle to do that. And what I like about it too is that I got, you know, a package with two, so I've got actually four different size dots that I can do that. So I'm going to do it with the, the biggest nub that I have here. And to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to practice it on my palette here. So again, I'm using 100% paint, no water down at all. And what I prefer to do is not dunk my entire point in, but to dump it about halfway in bring it straight in and out. And then if I do it on there, you can see roughly about how big it is. And that'll give you a sense of, do you have enough paint? Um, how much do you want to have on it before you start to do it onto your carving? And you'll notice every time I do it, it gets a little bit less, a little bit less. So if I dunk straight in, my first dot's going to be about that size, and then it's going to get a little bit smaller as I go. Now, if you don't have one of these tools, that's okay. Um, Depending on the size of the, the dot, find the back of one of your, your, your paint brushes, dip that in, and you can do that. Same thing. And I did a lot of my carvings this way with um, the back of my paint brushes before I got these embossing tools. So that will also work fine. Uh, you want to be practice and make sure you're getting consistent sizes before you put it onto your carving. Because especially with this, uh, depending on how deep you put it into the paint, you're going to get larger, smaller, smaller dots, and you want to be able to make two consistent size dots. So either one of those, either one of those is fine. Okay. Uh, before I do this, I'm just going to wipe with a paper towel the paint off the edge of that to make sure that it's clean. And I'm going to switch over to this one that I did as a sample and straighten vertically. 
going to get a little bit of a dot. And then I'm going to be very careful here. Everything firmly planted against each other to make a dot on that first eye. Hold it there for a second, straight in and out like that. It's not bad. Now, because every time I do it, it's going to be a little smaller, I'm going to actually get a fresh dip of paint before I do the next one. And then I'm going to do the same thing right there. And hopefully I'll have two dots that are about the same size. But you can see my one on the right came out a little bit larger than the one on the left. No worries. I'm just going to come back to my one on the left and really gently go around like this until I feel like I've got them about the same size. Still a little smaller, so I'm going to add a little bit more paint. And do that. Okay, good. I'm pretty happy with that. Two pretty even dots, um, fairly, fairly large. Now, if you're not happy with them, uh, before the paint dries, or even after, but easier before, you can come back with your knife, you shave them right off, and you do a new one, okay? And my advice is don't get too, don't overthink it too much. Usually if it's close enough, um, it'll be fine. Uh, but if you're really not happy with it, you can shave them off. What I want to do before I put the white dots on the inside, I'm going to put the white dots on the inside, is I want to let that dry for a couple minutes. Um, and so I'm going to pause for a second while I do that. Okay, so I've waited a little bit and my paint for these eyes are nice and dry. Normally what I would do is paint those dots on, set it aside, paint some other stuff and come back to it. But I want to make sure that paint is dry so that when I put the white dots on the inside of the eye that uh, they're not getting mixed up in the wet black paint. So this next part, I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to make smaller dots. I'm going to use the smallest size of this embossing tool I have, but actually you could use the tip of a toothpick here um, would be a good option. Um, if you don't have these tools, uh, use the back of your brush for the big dot, the tip of a toothpick or something for the small dot. And so I'm going to practice that first. So let's do that real quick. Um, and I'm going to get, I'm not going to dunk it all the way in. I'm just going to just barely, very vertically dip the tip in. And then let's practice that on one of these dots and see how that goes. If I just really touch it and come up, that's what I'm going for there, okay? So barely dipping the tip into the paint and then practice touching it and coming up, okay? Now the trickiest part of painting these eyes is getting those white dots to kind of align and, and go where you want them to. And you can experiment with that, you know, on a on a, your palette or paper plate or a different carving or whatever you want. Um, but then when you come here, you want to have a plan for where you want those to go. So on these, what I did is I tried to put them looking just to the right and up a little bit, but I don't want them, I, I wanted black kind of all the way around them. I wanted them inside of the inside of the black so it's not coming off. So that's what I'm going to try to do on these here. And so I'm going to do a very vertical, just very dip the tip into there and now I'm going to be very careful how I've gripped this how I'm anchored on everything and I'm going to just barely tap that dot on there and come off just like that okay and then my goal is to do the same spot on the other eye so I do a fresh tip so that I'm a fresh dip of paint, so I'm getting the same amount of paint each time that I do this. And I'm going to guide this on to what I hope is the same point on the other eye, just a very light tip like that. And that's actually pretty good. Okay. Now that'll take some practice. I would suggest you practice that on a different piece of wood, um, practice it on the palette or whatever. And um, if you're not happy with it, when you get it onto your carving, you can always erase it with your knife and start over. Uh, now, to just finish this guy off for the sake of completion, <laughs> um, I'll point out to do his, his smile, we're just going to do an upside down version of the previous eye. So if I just dip the tip of my um, toothpick in black, I can draw a little smile on there. Okay. 
just like that. All right, I'm gonna pause it and we're gonna move on to our third method. All right, so just as a bonus, um, none of my complete beginner carvings uh, use this method, but I'm gonna do what I what I would call combination eyes, which kind of does the, the eyebrow uh, similar to the happy eye and then the dotted eye together on that. And to show that to you, uh, because I think it's a good option to consider, um, I'm going to use I'm going to use this guy. And I've said several times, kind of flippantly, that if you're not happy with the eyes, you can get rid of them. So I'm going to do that because I want you to know that you can do this and it will be okay. Okay, there is no shame in this. I'm just very lightly shaving those eyes right off. Okay, and especially because I just did it. See how easily that comes off? And you can't even tell that they were there. Okay, great. And now I've got a fresh palette to work with for those eyes. And I I want to do that because I want you to know that I do do that. And it's okay. It's okay. It can be done. Um, so even though I was pretty happy with those eyes, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this guy as a blank slate for um, for my next next method. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of paint on the eyes that I want and I'm going to paint kind of a larger arc like the happy eyes but a little bit larger because I want to be able to get the dots into them. Okay, So that's pretty good and I'm going to follow the same method as I did for the happy eyes. I'm going to start on the inside and come to the outside and didn't quite get enough paint there. I'll go a little bit deeper with that. I think my paint's been sitting out and it's drying out just a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to repeat that until I'm happy with the amount of a, a line that I see there. That's pretty good. And let's do that on the other side. Good. Okay. So I get those arcs like the happy eyes. And then I'm going to use um, just a slightly smaller dot than I did for the, for the dotted eyes. And I'm going to add one right on the middle underneath there. Okay. And actually, I think I want that to be just a little bit bigger. So let me do that. And that. Okay. All right. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Um, you're going to want the um, brows to uh, extend over either side of the eye, and you can experiment with that to make different expressions. And it's just a simple way to do um, to do a little bit more interesting eyes. And of course, you could experiment with different colors or things like that. I'm going to pause this and let them dry like we did on the other ones, and then we'll finish these with the white dots. Okay, so those black dots are nice and dry. I'm going to follow the same method as the previous ones. Get just a little bit of white on the tip. And add a dot there. Oops, got a little more than I wanted there. So add a dot there. Good. And I don't know, he looks a little worried maybe, that's okay. Um, using the brows is a good way to add a little bit more expression, just a little bit more interest as compared to these. But yeah, so using those as building blocks, you could experiment with different colors, different shapes, um, different expressions, and it's just a very simple, easy way to um, start painting eyes on your very first carvings. So. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy whittling. Happy painting. Thanks. Bye.